control. Movie review. The film Troll, directed by Roar Udhog and starring Ianne Marie Wilman, Kim Falk, Mad Stoggard Pedersen, and Eric Vorenholt, follows a motley crew of people who must band together to stop an ancient troll from wreaking havoc in a Norwegian mountain. The plot of the film is as follows. A young girl, Nora Tideman, is taught by her father, Tobias, the mythology of trolls and the origins of their local mountains. Nora almost sees the faces of trolls turn to stone in a rock face during one story. Years later, a drilling operation tunneling through the Davra Mountains erupted, killing several workers and protesters. Desperate for answers, the Norwegian government hires a diverse group of scientists, including Nora, who is now a paleontologist working on her first major discovery. While most scientists believe the eruption was caused by the miners striking a pocket of methane, only Nora and the Prime Minister's advisor, Andreas Isaacson, point out that the area is surrounded by large impressions that appear to be footprints. When a second incident miles away tears apart the home of an elderly couple near Lesha, the Prime Minister allows them to investigate the possibility further with Norwegian military soldier Captain Chris Holm. Nora begins to suspect a troll is to blame, and the three seek help from Tobias, who has since lost his professorship due to his belief in the existence of a real basis for mythical creatures. Tobias discovers a topographical anomaly after a quick search of the mountains, and the four unintentionally awaken the slumbering troll, which has camouflaged itself on the mountainside. They flee, having obtained the first tangible video proof of Nora's theory. The Prime Minister plans a military operation led by Chris, but conventional weapons irritate the troll. Tobias attempts to communicate with the troll but is killed when he is startled by more gunfire. Nora recommends a sonic attack using church bells after researching the mythology, but it enrages rather than incapacitates the creature, causing massive collateral damage. Following the rampage, the story is picked up by international news outlets and broadcast worldwide. As the troll approaches Oslo, Norway's capital, the Prime Minister orders a total evacuation of the city. Nora and Andreas object when they learn of the government's plan to destroy the troll with a nuclear bomb on Oslo, but they are dismissed from the task force. Nora makes one final attempt to discover the truth about the creature. Their journey is led to the royal palace by Tobias Notes, where they meet chief of court Rickard Sinding, who reveals the truth about trolls in Norway. Trolls had been living in Norway until they were wiped out by Christian settlers, and the truth had been buried in folklore. Sinding had Nora's father discredited and committed to a mental health hospital after he got too close to the truth. After the Christians massacred his family and left him for dead inside a cavern in the Davra Mountains, the royal palace was built on top of the Troll King's palace. Nora deduces that the creature is making its way to Oslo in an attempt to return home. Because trolls are sensitive to direct sunlight, Nora and Chris intend to expose the troll to UV light from a variety of tanning beds. While Chris rallies his troops to build the troll trap, Andreas asks his friend Sigrid at the secret government facility to postpone the bombing of Oslo. To avert a nuclear attack, Sigrid hacks into the military's computer system. Nora and Andreas put one of the troll's baby skulls in the back of the queen's truck and lure him into the UV light trap. 
Nora changes her mind at the last minute, turns off the lights, and attempts to save the creature's life. The sun, however, rises into a clear sky and kills the troll. While everyone else rejoices, Andreas and Nora wonder if there are any more trolls deep within Norway's mountains. In the aftermath, something appears to roar out of the rubble inside the Davra mountain cave. <laughs>